In question number four, we're told the equation of the curve is y is equal to cos 2x plus 2 sin x. We're asked to find dy by dx and hence find the coordinates of the stationary point on the curve for x between 0 and pi. The question carries six marks. The first thing I'm going to write now is for stationary points, dy by dx, the gradient function, will be equal to 0. So what I'm going to do is differentiate both sides of this equation with respect to x, set it to 0, solve for x, and then consider values where x is between 0 and pi. So let's differentiate now both sides of this equation with respect to x. If I differentiate cos to x, I need to differentiate the outside function and multiply through by the derivative of the inside function. The derivative of cos x is minus sine x, so this is going to be minus 2 sine 2x. If we differentiate 2 sine x, we're going to have plus 2 cos x. I'm going to set this equal to 0 and just rearrange it slightly. So we're going to have 0. I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 2 and just write this now as cos x minus sine 2x. At this stage, I'm going to use an identity. The identity I'm going to use is that sine 2x is 2 sine x cos x. So if I just rewrite this, I can write this as cos x minus 2 sine x cos x. You don't have to, it's just one way of doing it. So 0, common factor of cos x, that's going to be 1 minus 2 sine x. So we can see that cos x is 0 or 1 minus 2 sine x is equal. So we can say uh, from this, therefore, cos x is equal to 0. Or we've got now 1 minus 2 sine x is equal to 0. So we have sine x is equal to 1 half. So what we need to do at this stage is find now the coordinates. So let's go ahead and find the x values. Therefore, from this, if cos x is equal to 0, we can say that x will be equal to pi by 2. If you want to draw a quick sketch of the cosine curve, we know the cosine curve does something like this. So this now is pi by 2, comma 0. We're interested in this between 0 and pi. The next one isn't until 3 pi by 2. You can, of course, use a calculator, but I'm interested now in simply finding these exact values, and we can see that from here. If we look at this one, again, special angles, we can say that x will be equal to pi by 6, and then we'll have, by symmetry, pi by 6 back from pi, which is 5 pi by 6. So with the sine curve, we have now these two values. One is just here, and the other is going to be the same distance back from pi. So we've got pi by 6 and 5 pi by 6. So what we now need to do is find the y coordinates given the x coordinates. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to move these out of the way so we have some space. So we can say now when x is equal to pi by 2, so just jotting this in, when x is equal to pi by 2, y will be equal to because of pi, and we can use these graphs, or we can use calculator. We can say cos of pi, and then we're going to have plus 2 sine of pi by 2. The cos of pi is going to be minus 1. That's down here, and that's going to give us minus 1. The sine of pi by 2 gives us 1, so that's going to be plus now. Two lots of 1, which is going to be 2. So from this, we can see now that y is going to be equal to 1. So we can say now that we'll have the pi by 2, so let's write pi by 2, pi by 2, comma 1. So that is when x is equal to pi by 2. If we now consider when x, so when x is equal to pi by 6, what we're going to have now is that y will be equal to, and we've got cos of two lots of this. So we're going to have cos of pi by 3. And then we're going to have plus 2 lots of sine of pi by 6. Again, we can use the calculator, or if we know these, these are our special angles. So that's going to give me half, 
and then we're going to have plus 2 lots of a sine of pi by 6. Sine of pi by 6, again, is 1 half, so that's going to be plus 1. 2 lots of 1 half is 1. So that gives me now the point, and we're going to have pi by 6, and then we're going to have 3 over 2. OK, let's now consider 5 pi by 6. So 5 pi by 6, we can say now, and we could use our answer in the last part if we really wanted. We could say when x is equal to 5 pi by 6, y will be equal now to cos of 5 pi by 3. So 5 pi by 3. Then we're going to have plus 2 lots of sine of the 5 pi by 6. So if we now consider cos of 5 pi by 3, this again is just going to give us 1 half. If we think about this now, this is in the fourth quadrant, so we can say that y is going to be equal to the 1 half, and again, we're going to have sine, 2 lots of sine of 5 pi by 6. Sine of 5 pi by 6 is going to give us half, 2 lots of half is 1. So as stated, we could have used the symmetry in the last part, so 5 pi by 6, comma, 3 over 2. So that gives us now the coordinates of now the stationary points between 0 and pi. So 6 marks in total, we differentiated it, set it to 0, solved for the x-coordinates, plugged them in, found the y-coordinates without a calculator, although you're more than welcome to do so, and then just expressed three different sets of coordinates.